Abdul Jabbar Abdullah's life is remarkable on many levels. Born to the small, persecuted Mandi and Sabian minority in a provincial town of southern Iraq. He rose to become an accomplished scientist and one of the main architects of modern Iraq's higher education. His work in the field of meteorology and his leading role in the establishment of Baghdad University have made him one of Iraq's eminent personalities. Dr. Abdullah's official Ottoman birth certificate, as well as his official documents, list his birth date as 1911 without specifying the day or month. But according to his own estimates based on his family's recollections, Dr. Abdullah believed that his birth date was the 14th of November 1913. Graduates from Khalid Salih Elementary School the British authorities opened this school in 1917. It was the first public elementary school in the province of Amara. In its first year it had 45 Mandian and Jewish students and 45 Muslim students. Dr. Abdullah completed a bachelor's degree in science focusing on mathematics and physics from the American University of Beirut, AB. AB is one of the most famous and prestigious universities in the Middle East. Prior to the Lebanese Civil War, 1975-1991, was considered one of the finest in the world. It was formed in 1866 and boasts among its graduates a number of leading figures in the Arab world. Dr. Abdullah's colleagues and friends included many students who went on to become important scholars. In 1932 the Kingdom of Iraq was officially recognized as an independent country. Shortly after gaining independence the country witnessed a rapid expansion of secondary education in both quantity and quality. Young Abdul-Jabbar took part in this expansion by teaching in a number of secondary schools in Amara and Baghdad. Assistant Director of Meteorology at Basra Airport The airport was established by the British in the 1920s and soon became an important hub on the route from Europe to India and the East. It was likely during this time that the young Abdul-Jabbar developed a strong interest in furthering his studies in meteorology. instructor at Teachers College, Baghdad This school was originally built in 1891 at the end of Ottoman rule.
Many of its graduates went on to play important roles in the development of the country during the monarchy and early republic. Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, Dr. Abdullah's degree was a Doctorate of Science, SCD, rather than the usual Doctorate of Philosophy, PhD. The SCD is a rare degree, which is granted by only a handful of universities for substantial contributions to the field. He studied meteorology at the famous Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, in Boston. Where he was granted a gold watch in recognition of the excellence of his work. His supervisor was the professor of meteorology, Bernhard Horwitz. Assistant professor of physics, MIT soon after receiving his doctorate, Dr. Abdullah returned with his family to MIT as a member of the physics department. During this time he published two of his more important papers on wave motion and cyclogenesis. Despite his academic success at MIT, he soon decided to return to Iraq to participate in the development of the country. Chairman of the Department of Physics, Baghdad while MIT provided Dr. Abdullah with broad opportunities to further his career, he soon decided to return to his country of Iraq. He was appointed Chairman of the Physics Department at Higher Teachers College in Baghdad. The college was established in 1923 under the directorship of Saudi al-Husri the known Arab nationalist scholar. Other well-known figures associated with it are the two Iraqi poets Badr Shakir al-Sayyab and Nazik al-Malayka. In 1958 it was incorporated into Baghdad University and changed its name to the College of Arts. Visiting research scholar and AM. Professor in 1952. Dr. Abdullah received a grant from New York University to work on several research projects. During his leave from the Higher Teachers College of Baghdad, Dr. Abdullah produced a number of papers the most important of which was his two-part study entitled on the dynamics of hurricanes. Founding Council of Baghdad University This council was under the chairmanship of Professor Mata Akroi, its main task was to unify the various colleges and educational institutes into a single national university.
editor-in-chief of proceedings in addition to his responsibilities as chairman of the physics department and member of the Council of Baghdad University. Dr. Abdullah also became the editor-in-chief of Proceedings of the Iraqi Scientific Society, a journal published by the Iraqi Scientific Societies. It published research in the fields of mathematics, physics, geophysics, engineering, chemistry, and biology. To facilitate international interaction, its articles were written in English, French, or German with the abstract in Arabic. The Revolution of July 14, 1958, brought about profound changes to Iraq. For Baghdad University, a new law was promulgated in September 1958, which replaced the temporary founding council with a permanent university council with Dr. Abdullah as acting president of the university. President of Baghdad University in 1959, the university was further consolidated and Dr. Abdullah was formally appointed president. During his four and a half years at the helm, the university witnessed rapid growth in terms of enrollments and programs. It also developed a reputation as one of the finest universities in the Middle East. The fascist coup of 1963 brought a wave of terror and severe suppression of all democratic forces. Dr. Abdullah was detained on 9 February and questioned over his political affiliations. He was released on bail on 8 October of the same year. All charges were dropped several years later, though he was forced into mandatory retirement. Baghdad University suffered much through the mass executions and imprisonment of faculty and students. It also suffered as a result of the loss of academic freedoms that had been a hallmark of Dr. Abdullah's tenure. senior visiting scientist at NCAR as a result of international pressure, the regime eventually allowed Dr. Abdullah to leave the country. He arrived in the USA where he found a position as a senior visiting scientist at the National Center for Atmospheric Research, NCAR, in Boulder, Colorado. There he produced a number of influential studies and 
with James O'Brien, a book on waves of finite amplitude. Professor at State University of New York at Albany in 1966, he moved to the State University of New York at Albany where he became a member of the Atmospheric Science Department. The following year he received a prestigious grant to conduct a series of studies on how humans can alter or modify the weather. While he did produce a study on the stratification of cloud layers, he soon became too ill to carry out much work. July 9, 1969 Loss of an Iraqi Patriot Abdul Jabbar Abdullah dies on July 9, 1969, at Albany Medical Center, New York, of Hodgkin's lymphoma at the young age of 56. His research in meteorology and work in laying the foundations of Baghdad University and Iraq's higher education have rightly earned him the admiration of Iraqis of all backgrounds. He lived and died with no other citizenship except that of Iraq, and was buried, according to his wish, in his homeland at the Mundian Cemetery near Baghdad.